What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. In January, I was running a bunch of polls on YouTube talking about the best artwork out of Sword and Shield, and now it's finally time to reveal the results. If you've been following along, you probably already know who won. If you haven't been following along, I won't spoil it for you. We'll go through all of the results, but basically what happened is on a live stream back in January, we ranked all of the cards from my perspective and from the people who were on the live stream's perspective. And it was just like numbered one through, I think, I can't even remember, 32 maybe, something like that. And then I stacked them all into an actual bracket and it was just a winner take all. So if you lose, you're out. There was no like uh, two loss thing. It was not complicated. It was just like a normal tennis bracket or kind of like the NCAA basketball tournament bracket where the top seed was against the lowest seed, which uh, caused a little bit of controversy because there was a few people nearing the end, especially, and at the beginning, actually, who were like, this card didn't deserve to die this way, or this card is better than this card. But, I mean, for ease's sake and just the way that YouTube does polls, only doing one versus two at a time, it was just the easiest way to do it. So maybe not the perfect result, but at in the end, I think the best cards definitely came out uh, near the top. So we're going to get into it. Before we do, I got a giveaway going on right now. So the light is going to shine on this thing, but I'm giving away this Charizard Super Rare uh, from Japanese 151. It's a Gem Mint 10. Absolutely gorgeous. My other videos have it up close, but I don't have that camera set up right now. So that's, I'm just showing you right here. Uh, pretty gorgeous. I'm giving that away once I hit 9,000 subscribers to one lucky subscribers. So in order to enter to win that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with bell notifications on. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Did you like these polls? Did you think it was rigged? Um, or whatever you want to leave. It's fine. I like reading your comments. And coming up quick, I'm going to be doing the best artwork out of Sun and Moon. So stay tuned for that on the channel as well. Let's get to it and get started. So we're just going to get right into it. Starting at the very start, the very first matchup was two of my favorite cards, which really sucked. This was one that caused some controversy because honestly, Starmie V did not deserve to go down like this, but Umbreon VMAX was an unstoppable force. 1.3 thousand votes, so we started off a little small time, but not a problem. Starmie V only took 31% of the votes, even though I think it is literally one of the best cards out of Sword and Shield. The artwork is spectacular. Nostalgia City with Misty and Starmie in there, but everyone knows that Umbreon VMAX was going to do some damage in this bracket. Then we moved on a little bit closer, but still kind of a runaway. Suicune V from Crown Zenith versus the Celebi V alt art from Fusion Strike. Celebi taking 43% of the votes, Suicune taking 57%. So Suicune was moving on there. Then uh, Battle of the Kings, Evolving Skies, Umbreon V, 72% over Glaceon V. Uh, 28%. Personally, I would have voted, for, well, I did actually vote uh, on my personal account. Glaceon V is one of my favorite cards. I just think it's such a cute Pokemon sitting on the bench in the snow. Uh, but everyone loves Umbreon. The one thing I will point out, though, I never kind of looked at this card very closely, but it like from afar looks like Umbreon is standing on top of like a staircase, kind of like as the king pin. Uh, and it's not actually the case. It's just the moon, then the Umbreon, and then standing on a wall. That ruined the card a little bit for me. I'm going to be honest. I hope I didn't burst any bubbles uh, to each their own. Next up, we got one of my favorite cards of all time out of Sword and Shield, Blaziken VMAX overtaking the Charizard V Shiny from Champion's Path. Uh, by a total of 67% to 33%. 1.3 thousand votes on that one. Another uh, evolution battle. Espeon VMAX from Fusion Strike completely tooling the Glaceon VMAX 75% to 25%. Uh, that one doesn't surprise me quite that much. Espeon, a hard pull to get from Fusion Strike. And, I mean, it's just a really, really cool card. Next, we got Tyranitar V, finally, uh, Altart V card, beating out one of the Evolutions. Sleepy T taking 62% of the vote with 1.4 thousand votes. Uh, nearing the end of this poll, like, it was starting to get a lot of votes, which was a lot of fun, especially... In the first round of this bracket, I was doing two polls a day. Like, it was constantly... It was a lot of work to put this together, to be honest with you. But a lot of fun to see all the results. Next, we had the Sylveon V from Evolving Skies. 71% of the votes over the Charizard VMAX Rainbow card from Champion's Path, which took 29%. So people not loving the Charizard, not loving the uh, Rainbow card, for sure. 
Next, we got another huge hitter, the Giratina V, which also was expected to do a lot of damage. I think I had this uh, placed in the number uh, three or four times, or uh, three or four spot in terms of rankings right off the bat, how I made the bracket. Uh, and Giratina performed well versus the Charizard V. Charizard V currently not performing well at all. Then moving on, another huge one, this uh, Lugia was actually on the live stream when we made these rankings, was voted as the number two seed in this bracket. So Lugia V took it, taking 82% of the vote over Zera Aura V from Chilling Rain, which to be fair, the Zera Aura is an absolutely gorgeous card, but how do you overpower Lugia, to be honest with you? Then Move on, Sylveon VMAX losing out. Uh, this one's pretty slim margins here. Sylveon VMAX versus Aerodactyl V. Lost Origin card is taken at 56% to 44%. Then uh, another Evolving Skies, tons of Evolving Skies, which doesn't surprise anyone because there's just so many cool artworks in Evolving Skies. And the Leafeon V overtaking the Darkrai V-Star by uh, a vote of 58% to 42%. All right. Still moving on, still first round, Rayquaza VMAX, another Evolving Skies versus the Rayquaza V. I can't believe that this is how it matched up in the opening round, but the VMAX took the cake on this one, 61% to 39%, uh, which I completely agree with. Most of these votes I completely agree with. And then we had our biggest runaway out of the entire bunch, Mewtwo V-Star from Crown Zenith, Charizard just getting absolutely owned. So people just don't love the artwork of Charizard, even though Charizard is still the king of Pokemon. All the cards and Charizard cards do really, really well. Uh, but not this one in terms of artwork. Down 10% to 90% to the Mewtwo V-Star. Mewtwo V-Star, one of my favorites. Uh, I expected it at the start to do very, very well. All right, another pull from the starting round, Galarian Moltres beating out the Noivern V. So the Noivern V I kind of thought could be a little bit of a sleeper uh, just because it kind of Batman and really different compared to your typical... Uh, artwork in Pokemon, but it wasn't good enough to beat out the Galarian Moltres V. Then we had Machamp V versus Espeon V. I really like the Machamp, but Espeon and the Eeveelutions were hard to beat in this uh, bracket. 59% to 41% for Espeon V taking the victory. All right, last pull from the starting round. We have the Gengar V Max taking it over the Pikachu V from Lost Origin. The Trainer Gallery Gengar V taking it by 79% to 21%. That one, 1 1.9 thousand votes. So we were starting to see a greater number of you taking part in these polls, which was a lot of fun for me, let's be honest. All right, we're moving into the second round, and we just started back up. Here's the bracket, how it looked. So we have uh, Umbreon VMAX in the top left there, Giratina V in the bottom left. Then we had Lugia V in the top right and Gengar VMAX in the bottom right. Those were kind of like the uh, top four seeds in the uh, bracket here. So we're moving on to the second round. First matchup is Umbreon VMAX versus Suicune. And Umbreon VMAX clearly taking it 76% to 24%. Then we had another big one, Umbreon V versus the Blaziken VMAX. I was upset about this one. I'm going to be honest with you. Blaziken VMAX I thought could do a decent amount of damage. Uh, but it didn't. Umbreon taking the cake 60% to 40%. Another round, Espeon VMAX to, versus Tyranitar V. And again, the Eeveelutions are just beloved from Pokemon fans far and wide, even though I probably would have voted for the Tyranitar in this one. 62% uh, takes the cake for Espeon VMAX. Then Sylveon V finally losing out, and Eeveelution is losing to the Giratina. So we all knew me included, that Giratina was going to be hard to beat because it's my favorite card out of Sword and Shield, an absolute gem, though I don't have the gem in 10 yet. That one's going to be a uh, hit to the wallet, that's for sure. Giratina V taking 84% of the votes there, 2,000 votes. That's our biggest number yet. Then we had Lugia versus Aerodactyl. I thought this could be a total banger of a matchup, but Lugia easily taking it 67% to 33%. Another poll, Rayquaza VMAX taking the cake over Leafeon V, 78% to 22%. Then we had the Mewtwo V-Star in a closer matchup than the first round versus the Galarian Moltres V. Mewtwo V-Star winning by a score of 57% to 43%. And finally, the last round, uh, of last poll of the second round, I should say, Gengar VMAX taking 81%, so Espeon getting owned by the ghost Pokemon, which also one of my favorites for sure, especially because I have that one in a gem in 10. And my goodness, 
it feels so good to have that card in a gem mint tin, especially because I pulled it myself. I graded it myself. That's what makes Pokemon really special to me. I'm going to be honest with you. All right, starting third round off with a heater. How do you even compare the two? Umbreon VMAX versus Umbreon V and the VMAX Moonbreon taking the cake. 78% to 22%, so not even close. Giratina V, also not even close, versus the Espeon VMAX. So, I mean, we all knew it, but it's fun to go through these brackets anyways. The top four cards were just really, really uh, hard to beat here we, with the S, or sorry, the Umbreon VMAX, the Giratina V, the Lugia V, and the Gengar VMAX, as you'll see. Lugia V, actually, this one was quite close with 2.1 thousand votes. Lugia V winning 55% to 45%, so not a huge spread there. Lots of uh, competition for Lugia versus the Rayquaza VMAX. Then this one caused some comments to happen. 1.8 thousand votes. The Mewtwo V-Star from Crown Zenith going up against Gengar VMAX from Fusion Strike. 68% of the votes went to Gengar VMAX, though few of the comments I saw throughout the month were like, this Mewtwo should go all the way. Uh, and it's hard to disagree with Mewtwo fighting Charizard. Uh, the artwork is pretty cool. Some people think that the Gengar artwork is not that good. It's just like a glorified version of the regular VMAX. I completely disagree with them. I absolutely love the card. I think it's spectacular, blah, blah, blah. But you all know that I think every card in Pokemon is spectacular, other than like pseudo Widow and uh, Garbodor ah, and Trevenant. All right, we're down to the semifinals. Little rant over. Semifinal number one, Umbreon VMAX versus Giratina V. This is one that caused some waves. Look at that, 33 comments. So some people were upset about this one. 2.1 thousand votes, Umbreon VMAX taking it at 58% to 42%. Uh, the reason people were upset at this one is because they thought Giratina should have been in the final with uh, Umbreon VMAX, not in that third seated spot and the other semi-final is the Gengar VMAX versus the Lugia V. Gengar VMAX easily overtaking Lugia by a score of 62% to 38% which leads us to the finale. Umbreon VMAX versus Gengar VMAX. If you've been following along you know who wins. If you follow Pokemon at all you probably know who wins but the polls wait we have the third place uh, poll. G Giratina V from Lost Origin, beating out Lugia V, Silver Tempest, 65% to 35%, 2.1 thousand votes for third place. So Giratina firmly cemented in third place, Lugia V firmly cemented in fourth place. And then the finale, like I was just talking about, but then I choked because I got them in the wrong order. Umbreon VMAX taking the victory, 61% over Gengar VMAX, which got 39% of your votes. The biggest turnout of them all, 2.4 thousand votes, absolutely ridiculous. That is the bracket. Uh, so let me know what you think. It was a lot of fun to put this together. I appreciate all the comments, all the votes. Like the channel is growing, which is awesome. But putting these things together is a lot of fun to like build the engagement. And people were talking in the Discord, which if you haven't joined yet, you should join down below. The link is in the description for that. Lots of cool community stuff happening in there. And uh, I mean, I just really like the idea of doing these brackets. So if you have ideas of different brackets we could do, I'm going to try and do them every couple months. It's a lot of work to put together, so I'm not going to do it every month. But definitely the one upcoming is the Sun and Moon Best Artwork because there's a couple really cool artworks in there. Uh, just recently I pulled the, uh, the Legendary Birds out of Hidden Fates, the alternate art of that one or the full art one, whatever it's called. Then I we got, uh, there's some cool cosmic ones. I pulled the Rainbow Blastoise and Piplup, which is awesome. Of course, you have the Team Up Latios and Latias card. Uh, I mean, there's too many to count, the Magikarp and Whale Lord card. Uh, so definitely, we'll put a list together. That will be coming up soon. But for now, since this video is coming out on Valentine's Day, I got a surprise for you. Me and my wife are going to be uh, having a little pack battle here. And because Moonbreon won, I got a couple of the Costco tins, and they should have one pack of Evolving Skies each. So it's a shot in the dark. Me versus Amanda. Here it is. All right, so here we are. The big reveal. She said it was going to be at 10,000 subscribers, but, I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so why not? We got a pack battle going on between the Costco tins, which comes with 
two packs of Silver Tempest each, three packs of Astral Radiance each, one Fusion Strike, and one Evolving Skies to finish it off. So Amanda's going to go first. Here she is under or behind the Gengar. Here we go. Hello. All right. She's up first. So, and as you can see, we got our little uh, Valentine's Funko Pops, Chewbacca and Yoda. So pretty sick. Here she goes. We're starting off with Astral Radiance. Hopefully we don't fool up the camera. It's maybe a little bit quiet because the can or the microphone is just right here. So maybe I'll turn it up a little bit. But all right. I don't know what we're gonna get if you win or if I win, but. Oh. I remember back to the day when I first started the YouTube channel and I couldn't open packs to save my life. Ooh, bad code card. Code card actually matters? Maybe. You have to do that. You can do whatever you want to. It's four from the back if you want the pack trick. <laughs> the way we're set up, I can't see the cards at all, so awkward for me. You Energy. need to go a little bit this way. There you go. Uh, pillow, pillow swine? How do you say that? I don't know. You can't even Pillow see. swine. <laughs> Choi? Yeah. Sure. Yanmega? I don't know what that is. Petility? I don't know. <laughs> Petalil? Petalil? Uh, Nicket. Hippopotas. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I like his face in that one. Uh, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. Right. I've heard of that one before. Yeah. Owlfish. Quillfish. Quillfish. I don't know why I thought that was an owl. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that one. Duat. Duat. I like his face, too. Basque Legion. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on the first pack. So not very good for me. All right, I'm up next. I don't know if that's how I said we're doing it, but mm, that's, do. that's how we're doing it. All right, here we go. See if I can get in front of the camera. I mean, I guess we'll do the pack trick as well. Why not? Make it a little bit more fun. Hopefully, I just completely crush Amanda. And two quillfishes. They're different though. Yeah, but they're both angry. Well, yeah, it's a quillfish. Mm -hmm. Miss Drevis. Letheon, nothing. We're both Ofer. All right, pack number two. Both Ofer. Amanda's trying to get a Oreo McFlurry out of this mess. With extra Oreo. I'm McFlurry just trying stuff. to get some good Pokemon hits. I'm just trying to open the pack. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda enjoy watching you struggle with that. Mm. That's so helpful. Ooh, bad coat there. Energy, upside down. Upside, upside down. down, what is going on with these packs? Ooh, no, 0 for no, 2. Nothing. 0 for 2. Alright, watch him learn. Grab. Pull. And snap. It's like no. Legally Blonde, like the bend and snap. Mm. But. To be honest, I don't think I've even watched the blue one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, come on, we need a hit. Curlia. Need a hit, though, out of Astral Radiance two starmy v's last time i opened it on monday's video so hard to complain about but these packs so far have sucked <laughs> a few moments later mm -hmm. okay i'm not looking at the code card this time i'm not gonna read it nice fire energy i know that one well, there's something back there this is a good sign. She's about to take the lead. Yeah, without revealing it first. Calyrex? 
That's a trainer gallery right there. A nice one at that. And the mammoth one. Nice. Mm. Very shabby. Not too shabby at all. That's going to be hard to beat. Though, Obviously. the Moonbrion could beat it. That's what I'm hoping for. Two packs of Evolving Skies total. And we got a chance at it. That's all you can ask for, really. Alright, come on. After this, we're on to Silver Tempest. Shaman. Oof, and I go over on Astral Radiance. On to Silver Tempest. Looking for the Lugia, looking for the Rayquaza VMAX. So, I'm still in the lead, right? You're still in the lead. One step closer to, uh... I feel like it's just the angle that I'm opening these at that. It's so hard. Probably. But you're still in the lead, one step closer to a McFlurry. I'm gonna have to up it and make it a cheeseburger as well. Oof. Energy. Don't know how to pronounce it. Raichu. Yeah, I know that one. Lily got. Gross. But I am still in the lead, so. I know, but you've opened another pack than me, so. Mm. Alright, come on. I gotta get on the board at least. Gotta get on the board at least. Dratini. Chinchow. Ponyta. Rockruff. I'm on the board. And an Arcanine in the back. Amanda's still winning, but at least I'm on the board. All I can say is thank God for editing because otherwise you would have been here watching for an extra 20 minutes of Amanda unwrapping Pokemon cards. You're gonna have to rapid speed my opening. Yeah. A little this way. There you go. Emergency jelly. What is that for? I have no idea. That one's cute. I like the elephant face. Radiant. That one's kind of cool. And Zygarde. Alright. Amanda, firmly in the lead. All it takes is an alt art, though, for me to get there. Secretly, Amanda doesn't want me to get there just so she can win, even though it would be better for both of us if we get better pulls. Better for the channel. Come on. Stonejourner. And another Zygarde. Well, we suck. Well, I suck anyways. Yes, exactly Alright, we're on to the one pack each of Fusion Strike before the finale of Evolving Skies. Okay, okay. There is a really nice Gengar in this uh, in this set, so. Yeah, so choke. At least I opened it pretty fast that time. Not too bad, not too bad. I didn't even have to edit that one. Upside down. Sizzly Pig. Luxray. Oh, Luxray, my favorite one. Aside from Celebi. Only because of Pokemon Forever. There's a Celebi, a really cool Celebi card in this set. So, maybe I can pull it. That means I win too, so. Maybe you don't want me to pull it this time. Come on. Totodile. One of my favorites. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This silver border. Come on, baby. Count it down. Three, two, two one. one. Upside down. Wow. <laughs> Upside down Mew Full Art. Hello. Legitimately just uh, got a similar card like that from Paldian Fates the other night. Check this out. Amanda just grabbed it. The shiny Mew. And we just pulled the Mew V full art from Fusion Strike. Not too bad. I don't know, but that, uh, I think, might put me in the lead. Well, let's not 
get too cocky because I have still one more pack. Evolving Skies pack. Okay. This one will be the one I'm going to get. If you somehow pull the uh, card that I is on my bucket list to pull, I don't know if I'll be ecstatic or upset. Well, you might be a bit of both. Yeah, but hopefully we do it. Energy. Very picky. Well, the, the <laughs> you're not even showing the cards. I mean, I can see the cards. <laughs> That's why we're recording in front of a camera. Swoobat, we need it. Nothing. Evolving cries as per typical. All right. Last pack magic. I need it. Evolving cries usually crushes everyone until the moment it doesn't. I don't think I'm going to get lucky tonight. Dwebble, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla, Love Disc, Last Card, Appleton. All right, that's going to do it at the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. This is Amanda. You got to let us know in the chat who won. Uh, Amanda pulled the Calyrex V Trainer Gallery from, uh, what, Astral Radiance? I pulled the Full Art Mew V from Fusion Strike. So it's hard to say, kind of close, but hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and until my next one, peace.